Welcome everybody to this new video of TechPress. Today, let's take a look into how it started with adding an FAQ section inside your website of Shopify. Let's do this in a very easy and fast way. Very first thing you want to do is to log into your Shopify administrator tool. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, just in case you don't have a Shopify store and you want to get started having an actual huge deal. Once you're here into the administrator tool inside your Shopify, the next step is to navigate through your online store and go directly inside the lab pod inside here i'm going to type the actual pages now that we are inside the actual pages it is time to organize questions inside your sections let's go here inside the pages and into the upper side i'm going to type add page this is the part where you can get started by adding pages totally for free let's go here into title and i'm going to go for fiq which that stands for frequently asked questions now here into the content, usually what we do is to leave those like that because we wanted to add it um, inside the actual editor, not inside here. So just make sure that you have just created an actual FIQ section. I'm gonna hit now into save and the actual store, the actual section of my website has now been successfully created. Now let's go back into my online store and start to organize questions into the sections. So organizing your FIQ page by grouping similar questions into section. It's gonna be really, really easy, guys, and you wanted to make sure that when you go directly inside the navigation bar, let's go into the main menu so we can add the FIQ into my menu bar. So I'm gonna go here into add a menu item. My name is gonna be the FIQ, and this menu item should be uh, sending my people inside my pages, and of course, my FIQ. I hit into add, and I have successfully added my FIQ into my actual menu. So let's go and save this. Let's go back into the customization of the online store. And now you should see that the FIQ is now being appearing inside my menu. So let's click to here. And now you should see we are inside the actual FIQ section. This is the part where you wanted to get started with an actual template. So inside here, I'm gonna choose FIQ. And what I wanted to do is to delete the elements that I didn't want to see, for example, this element. And now get started with the actual FIQ. Now the format and the style for your FIQ. You can use the formatting options in the page editor to style your FIQ page. Consider using headers, bullet points, and bold text to make the content easy to read. Shopify provides a user-friendly editor for the effortless customization inside the left hub. Let's go and click here and go for the actual plus so we can add a new block inside my template. Let's go for add a new section. And here, what I wanted to do is to look out for an actual collapsible content. And there we go, here is my collapsible content. So, I go and clicked here. For example, the collapsible row here. The icon, of course, should not be a check mark. You can change this for uh, fire, for example, like a dryer, um, an actual hot if you wanted to. That's totally depending on what you're actually aiming for. So, what I want to be doing here is to try to look out for something that is not that right there we go and now that i have my question the row content is going to be my answer so i'm going to hit into generate text so it's going to be much more easier to generate an actual uh more descriptive answer for example uh explain that the order take place after five eight business days and the tone in my case should be as an expert I'm going to hit into generate and now I have three different elements that I can choose for this answer. For example, uh, order shipped fast, receive your purchase in just 5 8 business days. I choose this option for example, and I go for here and I go for rephrase or extend my actual answer. There we go. It actually looks much more interesting here. So now what I do is to click here into this collapsible content and here is my actual asked question. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the other collapsible row. For example, what is the material you're gonna be using? Well, I have just created four different most common asked questions. I can create more if I wanted to here. Inside the left part, you can see that we have one element and I can add a new one. For example, I have one collapsible row, I can add two more and so on and on and on. So lastly, guys, what I'm gonna be doing here is just to select my collapsible content. And so far, what I'm gonna be doing here is to delete my head because I don't want to see it, because I want just to see the FIQ section. Lastly here, uh, what I do is to, of course, add something that is outside the FIQ section, just in case I haven't uh, answered another specific question. So for that, I'm gonna add a new section and I'm gonna go for the contact form. 
and last thing I'm gonna hit now is to save three dots and view my document. So we can preview and publish uh, any progress here. You want to make sure that before you post, everything's going to be really, really important. That ensuring that everything looks uh, as intended. So once satisfied in the publish button, your FIQ page is now live in the Shopify store and ready to assist your customers. Check out how it actually looks to our freaked ask questions, frequently asked questions. So I click here. And as you should see, it actually looks really great so far. Feel free, guys, to add images, to add links, to add more stuff, and of course, trying to add as much information as you can, speaking about for your customers, not for your website, for your customers. And lastly, guys, try to add an actual contact form so you can answer as much questions as you can. So, so your customers are gonna be feeling free to adding as much information as they can. And there you have it, guys. It's actually really, really simple to get started with an actual uh, common frequently asked question, guys. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more e-commerce insights, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time. Until next time, once again.